Hey Aries Twin Flames, this is Jennifer and I'm going to be doing a relationship spread for you about <clears throat> the kind of current relationship energy for the next 6 to 12 weeks or so. Um, we're going to be doing thoughts, feelings, actions that may be taken for you and your person and then the um, likely outcome of the relationship if if like the state of the relationship overall uh between you two okay so it'll be your thoughts your feelings your actions and then theirs on the right hand side and this is a service that i offer if you would like this um done for you personally Contact me on Fiverr and I will make a video for you and send it over to you. So let's call on the guides, angels, ascended masters. Um, right when I started this video, again, my throat just went a little berserk. So I can tell you that you two might not be talking right now. Um, and the overall feeling in my body is a little bit cold. I can get this a little bit more on the cards instead of my messy desk. So they are telling me for you to keep going. So they're telling me right now, keep going. You seem to be on a little bit of a path um, that you are progressing on there was some forward movement for you especially on your path and they're saying don't let this shift deter you from the path you know is correct all right so your person is thinking about you i'm gonna put that up here Heavily thinking about you. I do get that they are also thinking about two other scenarios, possibly one other person. Um, one of the scenarios is it does appear for them to just go off on their own. They're processing a lot of energy. They are also, I oh, one fell on the floor, um, becoming aware of, or more aware of the sacred side of this relationship. That They do consider you a soulmate at this time. They are very intrigued by the meaning in your relationship. I don't read reversals in this spread unless I'm um, told to. All right, here we go. My desk is a little bit small to do this reading. We're going to look at the relationship aspect at the end. I never read reversals in the color cards. These color cards are from Meg Hill, if you're interested. I love them. I've had them for a very long time. And I do feel that they give like an atmospheric indication, you know, like a condition more easily. Okay. Your thoughts. So 
So right now you are thinking that this is on pause, but you are acknowledging that there is a tremendous potential in this relationship. I do feel like you have withdrawn your heart and you are going through a process of deep change. It could be that you are at this time healing issues surrounding trust, possibly abandonment issues, rejection issues, feelings that of helplessness, trusting, of course, this is a mirror, right? So it could be that you're learning to trust yourself through learning to trust others, right? So spirit does want you to focus on trusting yourself, your thoughts. Yeah, so you did walk away or towards your own spiritual growth. It does look like that there is some sort of mentor helping you grow, teaching you, or that you're learning from some source of wisdom that's illuminating things for you. I do get the sense that you're very self-contained at this time. You just want to be in a more peaceful state. I think that your friends are trying to help you with this trust issue and you're feeling quite alone, but they're actually soulmates here helping you. You just want to appear strong and independent. Sorry, I, we have steel attachment in the reverse, um, page of wands in the reverse, and pay attention to the red flags. You have a little bit of fear that things are going to go wrong if you publicly make any moves or towards this person. I get that there may be some sort of difference indicated here. Let's see what the next card would be. Yeah, you're learning you're learning that you do you more than anyone deserve love. You know, I do get that you're purging a lot of the stuff that happened to you as a child. And healing these core wound issues that you have. All right, let's see what they're thinking. Yeah, they're in a very spiritual energy. They may be getting out of a relationship or a marriage. I do feel like they're thinking about communicating with you or if you have any communication that they're going to speak to you in a different way than they have before in a more balanced giving way they do want they have done a lot of thinking about this relationship two cards very intensely focused on the thought um of this relationship and what it means to them in their life, in their role as 
they're looking at it in a context of the greater, their greater life. Sorry, my music went off. Okay. Um, let's see what they're feeling. These are very positive cards, even though they aren't big love cards. You may have a connection to one of their female family members or friends. And I do think that they are... Ooh, wow, nice. I do think they're either trying to get information from them about you or somehow trying to run into you via them. Um, they want to surprise you about the spiritual growth that they've undergone or are, are wanting to undergo. They're not sure you're interested anymore. They don't feel your energy as much. Maybe it's because you've withdrawn it so much. But having blossoming abundance and wheel of fortune together side by side like that is a huge, it means that their feelings have expanded and that they feel that this is a destined relationship in their life. I see with those two cards, I see them taking, uh, feeling like they want to take action towards you. Let's see what their action cards say. You may be older than them. Right now they're not doing anything. If you are older than them, they're worried about what people think about this. But they are feeling a huge amount of love for you in their heart and also they're they know that this is meant to be in their life i think they're planning a surprise for you of some sort not a big one because they don't want to freak you out they don't want to overwhelm you they really appreciate you they want you to know that you're appreciated without making it this huge deal. If you have helped this person onto their spiritual path, they want also to acknowledge you for that or bond with you in that way. <clears throat> they want to take that aspect of your relationship to a new level. They want to progress on that path. They want you to know that they've matured spiritually. I get that's what I'm getting very much. They're still working on themselves though. They're still reflecting very heavily. If they have a past that they're not proud of, they're coming to terms with that. They're making amends. If they're in a marriage, they are trying to be an honorable person. They want, they want you to be proud of them. And that might mean that you two may have to be friends for a little while. So here's how the relationship right now is playing out. Interesting. They're unsure about starting again, but there's undeniable passion. Two cards of intense passion. They feel stuck and they don't want they don't know how to get out of it they don't want to make a decision they're not sure about starting over however they do want to go through this 
I mean, for lack of a better word, it feels like a baptism. They want to be cleansed of their past mistakes, either with you or with other people or with their current partner. It's like they want to take it back to zero. That's all I can see. And it does involve like water cleanse, cleansing the emotional aspect and the residue of thought from that. So they are somewhat surrendering this to the universe because they know that you could be the one for them. But right now, they're afraid. They're afraid of making you mad. They're afraid of making other people mad. They're afraid of what people will think. <sighs> they don't think they can have victory with you for whatever reason. If something happened between you two and they you walked away, they fear that 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 they made you too mad and they just want it to come back to where it was. If it happened the other way and they walked away, they also want to reset the relationship. They want to be more authentic with you more real, more transparent with their feelings. Their feelings are overwhelming them. And there's some female connection here that's helping them understand what's going on. Maybe they have someone that reads like tarot in their life or something like that. But they think you're really beautiful and of course when I'm saying female or male it's energies not gender um, yeah there's a difference here that is very common with twins of course that this is always a card for me of differences age gender, religion, culture, whatever it is, something external, <clears throat> you know, this is a soul bond. This is a soul relationship. And this is something in the 3D that's making people judge it on an external factor. And they just don't know right now if they're brave enough to deal with that publicly. I do get the sense there's a lot of people around this person kind of in their business. And they've also retreated. I mean, you're marrying, so you've retreated very much. They are retreating and... You are about to go from this black energy to this white energy where, you know, if you are all contained within, you're about to let more light in. If you're within your cave, you're going to step back out into the light. It is almost time for you to return from your whatever kind of quest spiritual quest you were on um, with, you know, newer boundaries in place, new structures, new understanding of who you are and how that fits into the world and how you let the world in and how you kind of what you're attached to in people. Um, I do get the sense you've taken off that mask a little bit and you're a little bit more comfortable with being who you are in the world. I 
I just I, this card for me is indicating that not everyone will be supportive of this relationship. So still be careful with who you talk about it with. I wouldn't talk about it much at all. Um, honestly, I feel like you're doing a good job. If you have a, like a mentor person or someone who really understands what's going on that can help you without this judgment, then yes, but even then, I would, this is a process of you becoming your own authority in your life <clears throat> and going through that process um, of letting go of control and strategy and becoming someone who approves of yourself and doesn't seek approval from any external factors is I think what you're going through here and also what they're going through in their own way. Um, so don't try to seek validation or approval for this relationship is what they're telling me. But the, I want you to leave you with these two cards here and their feelings of just destiny, fortune, moving forward. And that's what's coming into their heart space. So just know, you know, the wheel is a 10 card. And so things are about to, to change for you, the better. If you can hold on to this trust that you're building within yourself, I think it will really benefit you in that aspect. And the knowing that they are working on themselves, even if it doesn't appear that way. All right, Aries, I hope that helped you. I want to thank you so much as we go into 2021. Um, this huge shift that's coming on the 21st is going to be immense. And uh, I really look forward to the journey that is beginning as we start this new age of Aquarius. I, I really appreciate your support and I thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to this video. Bye.